I'm sorry about the whole restaurant bit. I lost my mind, I guess. I just not really care about this restaurant. I don't want to see it go down. I don't know. I'm starting to go crazy, aren't I? Sometimes I think like the whole world is doing this great big choreographed dance around me and I'm just standing there watching it. We'll be okay. And nobody's doing a big choreographed dance around you. All right? Never mind. <laughs> Stash? Hey, what's up, Boots? I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Did that guy just call you Boots? He must have thought I was somebody else. <gasps> wow, where'd you get the shiner? I don't know. Why'd Millie get a boot tattoo? Because of her nickname. I thought the nickname came from the tattoo. Well, I guess the tattoo came from the nickname. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Boots wasn't the only one that got a tattoo. Who else got a tattoo? One of her brothers. Whenever, man. I mean, when are you guys here? Um, about like Tuesday and Thursday, seven o'clock. I am so cool with that, right? Hey, hey dude. dude. Dafir's got a problem, and we think we may have a solution. How's it going, man? It's going good. Good. How about yourself? I'm plain, chilling. So listen to me. Uh, yeah. I'm Wade. Yeah. Well, I was talking to Tony and Devin here, and uh, I was telling them that I have a. Well, actually, I'm in a group of drummers, and we don't have a place to practice. Tony and Devin said they'd like to check it out, maybe beat on some drums. Yeah, didn't you say you always want to learn how to play the drums? You're talking about here? Yeah, you know, just like after the meeting on Thursday. How many people are in the band? It's not really a band, dude. It's more like a, a following or a uh, group of refugees with one common enemy. Tony said there might be a spot in the back that they could practice in. Yeah, we're not supposed to go back there. Come on, man. I'm not supposed to do a lot of things. Yeah, well, the landlord said we're absolutely not supposed to go back there. You could introduce them all to the business. You see Forrest in there? He's talking about putting in a manager's order. You kidding? Really? I'll tell you what, you guys, let me think about this. Here we go. And one. One, two, three, and one, and two, one, two, and one, and two. Sometimes when I feel lonely, when I'm out hauling hay, you know I want to be left alone Sometimes I want to play With my beer
fast as I can and not seeing any people but almost hitting a baby and almost running over an old woman but I don't care because I'm happier beside me my peers beside me I get my beer I love my beer I get my beer B-E-E-E-R One day I was playing football out in my backyard a limousine hit my one day I was playing Batman all alone. A limousine hit my mother. I got a beer with my name on it, and it's in the refrigerator. So stay away from my beer. Stay. Russell, <clears throat> what are you doing here, man? Now, what do you think? You didn't have to come down here, man. I told you I'd get it, didn't I? Yeah, several times. I'll have it for you by the end of the week. I swear, man, I'm not lying. I, I swear. <clears throat> oh, wow, really? You're sure that's what you want? Absolutely. I like that. You're okay with that being on your body for, for like, forever? I, I feel pretty good about it. How's yours down there? It's good. It's good. Tickles a little. Rico. Yo. What do you think of this turn, man? Oh, I don't know, man. That's Tommy. Tommy. Yeah, man. Check this out, man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, you never did tell me about your childhood. Really? Now, with the Sons of Anarchy between your... Um, let's see here. Tommy, Rico, hey, guys, we're sightseeing now. Let's move it along, please. Come on. You're such a gentleman. Now you only have one ponytailed ex-convict between your legs, so everything's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was absolutely joking. I love your ponytail <laughs> and that little pirate beard. Still Ladies and gentlemen, the Snooze Brothers. Good night, high price. Time to go to sleep. If you be my queen, I will be your king. Bed quarters, king, cost new sale. More mattress for your money. King Coil. Wait. Dude, I'm waiting for a ride, so if you don't if you don't mind, I'm just gonna. I mean, it's kind of peaceful in here, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna chill right here with you if you don't mind, for a few minutes. I won't make much noise. I'll just I'll just sit back, keep to myself, meditate a little bit, and uh, you you won't even know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> oh! 
So that summer, I went by her house, and I told her. Well, actually, I, I think I told everybody, because I was uh, standing out the road yelling pretty loud. When I said, hey, Nancy. That was her name, Nancy. I said, hey, Nancy, come on out. This is Dave. I want to talk to you. And, you know, back then I talked a little different. Mm. I have sort of a, like a, a swagger. Sort of a swagger in my voice, so it was more like, Hey, Nancy, this is Dave. Come on out, baby cakes. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Don't make fun of my vagina, it's the only one I've got. Don't make fun of my vagina, it's the only one I've got. What you talking about? Don't make fun of my vagina, it's the only one I've got. Don't make fun of my vagina, it's the only one I've got. Take a peek, no you don't, 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 yeah! And to be quite honest, it didn't work out because later that summer I found out that she was really a guy. A hairy guy acting like a girl. Which we've all seen those before. <laughs> yeah, we have. We've all seen those before. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs>